everyone. This is Susan. Wanted to share a message with you about an exciting topic and an important topic for all of us. It has to do with accessible parking at United Church of Chapel Hill. Something I've become aware of in a new way recently since I had hip replacement surgery back in October. And at that time, I really needed handicapped parking. It was such a gift to be able to park in a space designated for people who needed it, like me. There was a long time when I had to use these crutches and before that I was using a walker. I couldn't even drive at that point, but once I could drive using my crutches, I put my handicap placard in my car and I used it all the time. So I wanted to show you here at United Church where I where I could park and where I did park. One of those places was right here just outside the church offices. So here's my car and it was so convenient to be able to park here and I was so glad that only the people who really needed it could park in these places. Now we're going to show you where else I could have parked and some place, sometimes where I did park and where those of you who do need these places can park on Sunday mornings. Let's have a look. So here are two other places that are very close to the church offices. Just park right here. Get out, walk or roll up this entryway. Now we're right across from where you enter into the sanctuary. And so we wanted to show you all these spaces are designated for those who need accessible parking spots. So that includes people who are in a wheelchair or using a cane, uh, women who are uh, pregnant and so, or carrying a young child. Uh, so please keep this in mind. This, these spaces are for you and we want you to know that you are, you are priorities in our, our parking area. And now these spaces are right outside the entrance into our narthex and sanctuary area so you don't have to cross the parking lot at all just park right here and go right into the front doors that lead into our sanctuary i wanted to show you this placard now as you will note it expires on march 17th which is tomorrow Yes, tomorrow, oh my goodness. I cannot use this anymore after tomorrow. And the truth is, I haven't needed it for a good couple of months. So I'm gonna put this away now because I don't need it anymore and I'm gonna park in some of the other places that we have available. So we wanted to make sure you who do not need these placards know all the available parking for you. So let's go on a tour of those areas. Come on. Most of our parking is located, but on Sunday mornings, you only see a few cars here now. Sunday mornings, all of these spaces can sometimes be taken. So we're gonna show you where to go if all of these spaces are taken because there is an alternative another option. What we're going to do is leave the church parking lot, take a left, go back out to Homestead Road, just a minute away from our main lot is this satellite lot. And we are welcome to use it to use all these spaces on Sunday mornings. So, we park right over here, and then we get to take a nice little walk along this kind of a nature trail as we go over to church. And usually on Sunday mornings, some of the guys are sitting out here. You can wave at them, wish them a happy day, and go on down the path. You've got a perfect parking space. You've allowed the parking space is here to be used by those who really need them. And you've started your Sunday morning in a good mood, ready for worship, 
am ready to give thanks to God for all the gifts that surround us. So I encourage you to think about your first step of the day at church, which is parking, before you enter into the sanctuary. Thanks, everyone.